So, there's a lot of buzz going around the internet today about what to do when spiders and creepy crawlies and little beasties get in your shoes. And I'm not one for burning your shoe when there's a black widow in it. So I came up with a, a better idea. And I think you'll agree it's A-OK. -okay. You just go into the house. So first off, I've got these. And I am needing to, they, I haven't been worn for years. And there's cobwebs and all the signs of, of, of inhabitants. So I have to figure out a way to fix that. As you can see, these are leather. And as with anything similar to this, I won't say everything because I might get responses, but here in Costa Rica, where, the, where it's very humid, these have a mold. And that doesn't ruin them. It just, it'd be good to oil them more often. And, oh, I might have to, like I said, I haven't worn these for a few years. And now as I, I gaze into the, the depths, I see uh, cobwebs. And I don't know, you know, maybe there's a trap door spider living in there or, Trap shoe spider. So, here's how you fix that. Go to your wife's cupboard under the sink, and you get one of these. So we're going to go in. We're going to see if anything comes running out. Oh, oh, if you had small shoes, maybe <laughs> you could use that. Um, nothing's come running out yet. Maybe it's so big it just grabbed and... It's hard to do this with one hand. So I'm going to stick that in there and, and bottle brush it around. Get away, hopefully get all the, the scorpions and spiders and tarantulas and um, venomous earwigs and all the horrible things that could possibly feast on your feet and um, kill them. Okay, that's it. For your quick Costa Rican tip for today, use your wife's bottle brush. Don't get stung. And as closing, I would like to mention, I did get something out of the shoe. It was a cockroach. I forgot to mention those earlier, and that is what I saw.